Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I created my brother's white herb costume. I use the same pattern as the CL hat. I just made it a little bit bigger. Since this hat is supposed to be quite wide and my brother is also a larger man, I extended this pattern out by 4 inches which later on I did cut down because it was still big. This costume was created in a week's time. I also did not have my brother available to do the sizing on this since he was about 2,000 miles away. The fabric I am using for the hat is actually some leftover suede from my Undertaker costume. The crown of the hat is the same size as the actual pattern. And the head portion, I'm not sure what it's called. I actually did extend this up to about six inches tall, which later on I did have to cut this down since it was still a little bit too tall. I would have gone more four inches. I did cut a set of interfacing for this head as well. However, later on I did change out the brim interfacing for some really stiff cardboard since the interfacing was not strong enough to hold the hat up. But I did leave the video footage of me putting the interfacing in. However, it's just a little bit different material on the inside. And just like the CL hat, this will have a lining inside. So I'm separating the brim portion away from the lining portion. And here I'm adding the interfacing, but like I said, I did change that out later. Once the interfacing was on, I went ahead and used some wire around the edge of the brim. This will also help give it structure with the cardboard as well. With the wire installed, I go ahead and bring out my pattern so I can actually cut the circle on the inside for the hat. I use carbon paper and a tracing wheel to create that circle on the inside. And since my brother's head is actually bigger than the pattern, I went ahead and cut it down again by about an inch.
and then I measured out some wire and I sewed that to the part of the where the crown meets the brim. And I went ahead and added interfacing to my other pieces, which is the top of the hat and the wider band part. For the band, I just matched up the uh, shorter sides and I went ahead and sewed that down. And then ironed that seam down as well. And then matching the back center seam with the back center of the crown itself I went ahead and attached those with some clips and then I sewed that down. For the lining, it's exactly the same steps except without the interfacing. clip those seam allowances down so it actually turned out smoother. And then I guess I did not hit record when making the rest of the hat. So here is the video recording of me making the seal hat which is exactly the same way um, with the binding and everything.
and then after installing the lining to the inside of the hat I added a black grosgrain ribbon around the brim and a simple bow and with that the hat is done it actually came out better than I thought it would it holds up with the cardboard on the inside and he enjoyed it in the next video I will show you how I created the shirt and the pants thanks for watching please like subscribe and share and I'll see you next time bye